What's going on YouTube? Today I want to discuss um, failure or the failures we incur throughout throughout our journey or whatever we're doing in life. I want to, um, I realize the way we, we look at failure, we look at it as the end all be all and I wanted to kind of change your view of how you view failing at something. Now, of course, of course, no one should intentionally try to fail at something. That's not what I'm saying. You should always want to succeed at whatever you're doing. But a lot of times when we don't succeed or we fail at something, we kind of get discouraged and we don't want to, you know, continue on or push forward through what it is we're doing. So I wanted to say, you know, just try to change the view or the tone to, to help kind of, you know, re- reconfigured or re you know rearrange our way of thinking about it so I myself have felt a lot I um and I used to get discouraged when I felt I used to feel like you know whatever it is I'm doing maybe this isn't for me or I'm not that good but I realized when I changed my view about failing at whatever it is I was doing I realized that as I changed my view, I started realizing that the failures are not necessarily failures or an end-all, be-all. These are stepping stones. These are steps I'm taking. Like As I fell, I took a step to learn more, so I come back better the next time. You know, as I fell, if I fell again, that's a new stepping stone, so it helps to equip me with whatever tools or knowledge I might need, even though I failed at that particular moment. Now I've gained knowledge or, you know, a particular tool. So I have the, 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 um, the tool set I need when I go back and attempt to challenge the issue that I failed at again. So I realized to rearrange my thinking so I could start to view my different failures as stepping stones. So, for example, I fell, I fell at something. Let's say I. Um, I, one of my 3D prints doesn't come out right. Or for instance, like that giant boring drill that I created or 3D printed. That took me two months to 3D print it. Two months nonstop of having all my 3D printers running. And what I realized is many a times I failed at different parts, you know. I had parts that would print for like five days and then, you know, something would happen. The extruder would jam, power go out or the level, or it, um, it couldn't remember its position and then it just sprays everywhere or just many different issues. But as I got aggravated, the amount of money it was costing me to do that, I realized I, even though I kept failing or something was just happening, whether something, a piece would come off the print bed or whatever, I didn't let that discourage me. I let that equip me with the tools or the different the tools or the um, or the knowledge I needed to complete the task. So, for example, let's say um, one of the prints came off the print bed or it didn't bind to the print bed correctly. What I would do is I would change the orientation to where you know it had a larger surface to stick to, so it wouldn't so easily come off the print bed. So basically, I learned that's just a simple example of how I learned, you know, not to let my failure discourage me, but it equipped me with the knowledge I needed to get it right the next time, even though it was quite aggravating to deal with. Or let's say, you know, another problem where the extruder jam. Now, when you're printing for about five to six days on end, I let that teach me that, you know, with the particular 3D printer I was using, if I'm going to print that long it's got about a 15 day lifespan on the on the hiding head so i realized like or the extruder has about a 15 day lifespan printing 15 days consecutive 15 consecutive days non-stop so i let that teach me you know so for the next time so it wouldn't jam in the middle of a print it taught me that i need to swap out the extruder every you know 13 14 days so you know that's how i realized from all my various different failures, I've started, I've learned, and I came back, and I succeeded. So I want you to not 
Now, don't intentionally try to fail, but always don't look at your failures as being the end-all, be-all. You know, people might try to make you feel or down you for failing, but you have to realize when you fail at something, all that means is that you you gain more knowledge for the next attempt. You always need to, you always want to gain knowledge. I mean, if you look at going to college, you don't want to say failing, but you know, when you're learning something, you don't know everything. Every step of the way, you're gaining more and more knowledge so that you can pass the test or your exams or whatever it is you have. And that's the same way with failing, whether it's at business or whatever it is you're doing. When you fail, it's not necessarily a terrible thing. You're just, you're gaining those tools so you can come back and attack the problem again. And I use me as an example. I failed so many times. Fuck. One second. Okay, I'm not stopping this video because, you know, I, th I made a lot of good points. So, anyways, as I was saying, let failure guide, let failure be the teaching tool that teaches you how to do things correctly. Don't let failure discourage you. Don't let it stop you. People will try to discourage you or down you for failing, but just always know failure is kind of like, the learning process. Failure is the learning process. When you fail, you learn. You fail, you learn. You learn, you learn until you succeed. So that's my um, point for today is I want you to let, let your failure be a learning process. Realign your way of thinking to see failure as a learning process and not the end-all be-all.